We're working hard. We're here to stay, and we're going to keep working hard. A gift of education for undocumented students here in Connecticut, now able to attend one of the state's public universities for a lot less. It is part of a new scholarship program announced by the governor today. Glad you're here, everybody. I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Ann Craig. A large charity now singling out one of our public universities. They're going to pay for hundreds of undocumented students to go to college. Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis joins us live tonight with more Mark. Hi, Ann and Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, this scholarship program will not cost the state one cent. And the campus where these students will be going has plenty of room for more enrollment, so these students will not displace any legal residents. 22-year-old Robert Diaz of New London will be one of the 1,200 students graduating next week from Eastern Connecticut State University. Robert and his parents came here from Santo Domingo a decade ago. They are all undocumented. A good student, he worked for part of his tuition as a residence assistant and got tuition assistance where he could. He's planning to go to grad school and enter the field of environmental sciences. This 5,000-member campus will soon be the educational home for hundreds of other undocumented students from Connecticut and around the region because of an unprecedented gift from a philanthropic organization called the Dream.us that will pay the tuition here and at one other college in the East. This scholarship is going to open the doors for 500 students to have the opportunity to be able to come to Eastern State University and Delaware. Governor Malloy, who signed the law granting in-state tuition rates for undocumented students back in 2011, came here to help make the announcement. It makes me very happy just because I know now that students like myself would not have to go through all those steps in order to go to a four-year university. I want to become a math teacher. I, I want to change math education for the better to make sure that students are good at math. Eric Cruz Lopez's story is similar to Robert's, except his family came here from Mexico and settled in Bridgeport, his parents working to pay his tuition. We're working hard. We're here to stay, and we're going to keep working hard, and we're going to keep contributing to how, to how we want to contribute to society. Now, several states in this country prohibit these undocumented students from attending their colleges at all. Uh, that's why this philanthropic organization is going to open these scholarships to people from other states. Uh, some states require, as you know, we do not here in Connecticut as of 2011, uh, require them to pay out-of-state tuition. And just to make this clear, it's not totally free, but it pays a huge chunk of it. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.